Nine at 10, an area known for flooding in Maryland Heights now seeking approval for new development. 800 apartment units in a floodplain at Creevecore Lake is preparing for a green light. That's the current plan for a mixed use development that would put more than two dozen buildings in the northwest part of the area. News Force John Kipper has more on the concern that this project could make flooding problems worse. So it could be a real human danger. Scott George has spent his career dealing with geological and ecological issues. He says the planned apartments is going into one of the lowest wetland areas of the Creve Coeur Creek drainage. The reason it has not been developed currently uh, to this date is because it's been too wet. The plan is for 775 apartment units to be scattered along 80 acres of the northwest corner of Creve Coeur Lake. It would eventually include retail business as well. It passed out of the Maryland Heights City Council last year, and now developers are awaiting approval from the Army Corps of Engineers. In the conceptual plan, it states if the development was fully integrated, it would enhance the identity and image of the city and establish a sense of place. It would also give Maryland Heights a windfall of tax dollars, but there's plenty of concern. Even if they don't flood, they're gonna flood somebody else. Mike Checkett runs the Great Rivers Habitat Alliance and says while the developer will have pump stations to move the water into the river, other communities could be affected. They're talking about pumping it back into the river uh, or, or moving it in some manner. And so, you know, if I was in Earth City or Jefferson County or St. Louis City, I'd be concerned because that water is going to go downstream. Over at the park, some walking around said it would be an eyesore. Others say the area needs more apartments. Roberto Reed is certain it'll make the park busier. You're going to have more people coming over here. And, and any given day, you know, this, this place is packed. And uh, I think you might need more parking. As for George, he's not against any development in that spot. He just wants it to be smaller and closer to the highway. And there are areas out in there that I feel that they could develop that would be better than this one. Reporting in Maryland Heights, John Kipper, News 4. Another concern here is wildlife. There are more than 250 bird species that have been spotted in the park, and some worry they may leave and not come back. News 4 did reach out to the developer on that project via email and phone. We'll let you know when we get a response. We're following.